growing up, we had uh, different experiences in Topeka at a Lutheran school. There were no African-American kids, and except for one who was brought in because she had had an issue uh, working with other children at another school. And so it wasn't a positive experience. Um, but then as things, as once I had gone to a public school uh, in the eighth grade, then there were certainly more children and it was more integrated, but not as much as I had hoped. And where did you go to high school? I went to Topeka High. And what was that experience like? It was very good. Um, there were many challenges, though. I think um, it's gotten better than it was then, but there was certainly tension uh, back then with kids in the hall segregating. Um, there was tension walking down the hall if someone was going to move or not move if they had their books. And I always tried to move out of the way, as I think most people probably thought they were anyway. But there was times when you'd hit someone, and one time I remember a kid's books went flying, and there was very much anger involved in that uh, activity. But uh, anyway, we got past that. Um, but I had a lot of friends there, and um, Floyd Green was a friend of mine who's still now uh, back to being a friend because I had gone to Chicago and come back, and he is working for the Overland Park government in Kansas City, and uh, met him in the fifth grade basketball team that I was on, and he's just a great person. So, And what years were you at Topeka High? Uh, from 80 to 84, so 80, 80, 81 school year was my first, and 83, 84 was my last. And what did you do after high school? Well, then went to K-State. And uh, while Topeka High, uh, there was some mixture. K-State was a lot less mixed. Um, I don't remember many African Americans at K-State. Um, but there were some in engineering where I studied, which was great. But it wasn't until Chicago that um, I had uh, a, a mixed um, group in my engineering firm that I first went to. And, uh, one man uh, who was one of my mentors, his name was actually Winifred, uh, Fred, he's actually a pretty tough guy, very intelligent, but he would wear all black clothes. And I asked him, I said, Fred, why do you wear all black clothes? And he said, because I want, to, I want people to see my skin. Um, and his skin was very rich and dark brown, and it had a lot of spots. And I was just so intrigued and fascinated. He's such an interesting, intelligent, nice man. And I loved that fact that he wore black head to toe every day. And I did like the richness of his skin. I thought that was really neat. Um, when you were growing up, Mom, you grew up in Chicago, though, uh, in uh, probably a tough time for race relations. Do you remember that growing up in your school system, be it grade school, high school, or other? Well, in grade school, I went to a parochial Lutheran school, and they were all Caucasian children and mostly from German descent. And then high school, we had moved to Crete, Illinois by then, and we lived on a farm, and there were no minorities in Crete at all. Uh, Crete is about 50 miles south of Chicago. And then I did after high school, work a couple years, and then went to a college and spent two years at Concordia Teachers College. And there were no minority students at Concordia Teachers College either. So I didn't have any relationship with minority students at all. What about your family? And I know sometimes that's difficult to talk about, but can you talk about the views of your family growing up and how you think your views might have changed from theirs? Well, uh, my dad was a German immigrant, and my mother was a first-generation American, and um, my dad worked in the steel mills on the south side of Chicago, and he worked with some uh, African-American people, and uh, he developed some prejudices, and we never were able to talk about African-Americans at home. I know that growing up you had gatherings at your house and you always tried to have a mixed group at the house. I remember Thanksgiving not long ago, um, one of the people who worked for your court, uh, I think her name was or is Winnie Makata. Um, Kamada. Kamada. And uh, anyway, just um, I know you always brought unique people to the house. I always appreciated that. Well, it gave me a perspective that I didn't like when uh, the family would talk about race relations. And so I made it a point that that was not going to be the way my home was. And I think it is kind of unfortunate that we had to make a point of it growing up. 
but that's just the way the time was. And now, um, on a total, on a somewhat unrelated issue, uh, you know, I had married a Tibetan woman, and so when we have activities, I'm the minority. I'm the only Caucasian person in the room, um, with many being from Tibet, some uh, Japanese, um, other uh, different, usually Asian groups from Hawaiian. So anyway, it's a definitely a different view for me. Well, it brings a rich heritage to the family, uh, so we're happy that happened. 